in Ohio country today. In Ohio Country Today, brought to you in part by the following. Koenig Equipment, Allen Davis Insurance Agency, Truepoint Cooperative, Allied Environmental Group, Brumball Law, The Ohio Soybean Council, The Ohio Corn Growers, The Ohio Department of Agriculture, and Poet Biorefining. Welcome back to In Ohio Country. Today we're at the Bailey Building at Farm Science Review. And joining me now is Jill Tyson. And Jill, tell us a little bit about what's happening here today. Sure. So we're in the Bailey Building representing the College of Food, Agricultural, and Environmental Sciences at The Ohio State University. We've got a game here that we're running for high school students to learn more about our college and the majors that exist. You know, we talk about that college, we got to talk about diversity in agriculture and the food and environmental sciences. And it's not just one or two majors, we're talking 20, 21 different majors. That's correct. We have 21 different majors that exist at the Columbus campus for the College of Food, Agricultural, and Environmental Sciences. We also have a booth here today for the Agricultural Technical Institute, which is our campus in Worcester, where students can often start their programs there and then transition seamlessly to the Columbus campus. Yeah, one of the things that's very important about uh, this particular college here at The Ohio State University is the fact that its science department, its areas of science, which include the OARDC up in Worcester, is very deep and very rich, and so you're going to get a complete experience uh, no matter what major you get. Absolutely. All of our majors are very hands-on. Undergraduate research is certainly something that leads the way with all of our programs, and we encourage students to be involved in, whether they're in an honors program or in a general program within our college. Students can still do undergraduate research, so lots of neat things happening and certainly important in the world today as we look at the hot topics in the news. You know, for many of these students, the high school students that are coming in here today and throughout the week here at Farm Science Review, this may be the first opportunity for them to experience some of those particular majors. So let's talk about some of the booths that you have here today and uh, what you're trying to accomplish in, in bringing that attention to the per prospective students. Absolutely. So right as students enter the building, the first booth that they're going to see is our booth for ATI. And we want students to know that not only is the Columbus campus a great option for them to consider enrollment, but they can also start their enrollment at the Worcester campus for one or two years and then come directly to Columbus. Following that booth, then, it really gets into our departments. And the first department that students would see is food, agricultural, and biological engineering. We've got three majors in that department, and students can study construction systems management, agricultural systems management, or food, ag, and biological engineering. So lots of variety within that program, and again, certainly hands-on. When we look at our food science program, which is certainly an area that's growing within enrollment in our college, students are actually doing a taste testing today and trying to identify the ingredients that relate to goldfish crackers, which seems to be a common snack that students might enjoy. Students really like that it's a snack and taste test taste testing activity. Um, and we try to encourage our booths to do something that is interactive. Following that is our largest department in the college, and that would be animal sciences. Animal sciences offer students lots of opportunities when it relates to animals. Uh, whether that might be studying livestock, it might be studying nutrition or genetics, reproduction, uh, animal behavior, certainly hot topics that many students are interested in, specifically if they're interested in going on to vet school or other great careers with just that four-year undergraduate education. So animal sciences is doing a matching game where students can learn more about specific species of livestock, and whether or not a student comes from a farm background and knows the difference between a beef cow or a dairy cow. Those are the types of things we hope they might learn today and be able to gain the difference in different types of livestock. We also have a great theme going for our department that incorporates agri-science education Ag extension education and also agricultural communication. Pretty proud of this department as I'm a graduate of the agricultural communication <laughs> program here in the college and they're asking students to really target their future in thinking about a major in any of those areas. So the students are able to play a dart game and learn a little bit about the program and the department while they're playing something that's a little bit more fun and interactive. 
Following that then is our agribusiness and applied economics major and that is in our department of agricultural, environmental and development economics here in the college. And students are playing a basic tic-tac-toe game, a little bit of fun interaction, learning about economics and also the business side of opportunities that exist in our college. So many students are interested in business or the economy, but they don't realize that agriculture is the number one industry in Ohio and in the nation and that they can certainly enroll in our college to learn more and to have a great career related to that area. We also have our Department of Horticulture and Crop Science, and uh, that department has two majors as we shift into the semester system. The Sustainable Plant Systems, which go is going to incorporate our turf grass science, our crop science, or agronomy program, as it will be called under semesters. Also, uh, Landscape Horticulture is going to be another great program for students to consider. And then our Professional Golf Management. Who knew you could study Professional <laughs> Golf Management at Ohio State? And in fact, it's in this college. So students, they have a putt-putt game that they can do, work on their uh, putting game and to have a little fun right next to uh, Brutus Buckeye. <laughs> Following that of course is our extension booth and it it's not a major necessarily in our college directly that 4-H, um, but the reason that we include 4-H is because it's often a program that many of our students are involved in. It's a great youth development program. We partner most often in supporting both 4-H and FFA programs throughout the state and in the nation as far as opportunities for us to really spread the word about uh, students that are interested in agriculture, the environment, food, natural resources, all of those things. And so that's a great program that we know students uh, are often involved in 4-H, so we try and connect the, the projects that students take in 4-H to our majors at Ohio State. So that's why 4-H really fits. Now students can study extension education. Um, again, that was back in our department that was with our AgCom and AgriScience education booth. But that's one that kind of is really fits nicely with all of our other displays here in the college. Our last department here in the college is a really great one um, and certainly kind of incorporates two areas. Entomology is its own department and then we also have our plant pathology department. In plant pathology, students can major in plant pathology or plant health management. We often talk about students wanting to become a vet, wanting to become an animal doctor, and they can do just that only with plants. So there's a neat activity over there kind of learning, you know, what are students passionate about? Are you a Harry Potter fan? How does Harry <laughs> Potter tie into, you know, plants and understanding the diseases that we need to make sure we come up with solutions for in the future? We also have our entomology booth where we actually have live insects here for students to um, interact with if they want to, um, but to learn more about the importance of insects in the environment and uh, that that's a critical area too that students can study at Ohio State. So lots of variety, lots of great things, and certainly our goal is to raise awareness um, and to help the students have a little bit of fun while they're doing that. You know, Jill, one of the things that's exciting is that uh, we're not just talking to students, as you mentioned, that are being raised on the farm or come from an agricultural background. There are a lot of people that are coming into this college that are from the city, and that really brings not only the diversity from the perspective uh, programs that are being offered, but also you get that diversity from the students as well. That's absolutely correct. We have a wide variety of students that come into this college. And like I mentioned, many of those students come with a background in 4-H or FFA, maybe from a rural area or a small community. But we also have a lot of students that have a passion for animals or a passion for the environment, passion for food science. They know where the leading careers are and what the leading industries are, and they want to know more about that. So students don't have to come from an agriculture background. I wasn't necessarily raised on a farm by any means. Um, and like I said, I'm a graduate of this college and, and proud to be a part of this college. And so we certainly want students and uh, anyone interested in, in higher education to know more about the programs that we offer here, whether you're from a rural or urban background. Well, Jill, this is probably one of the most highest traffic events for you since it's this college that puts on Farm Science Review. What are some of the other opportunities that high school students can get in touch with you and learn more about this wonderful college at The Ohio State University? Well, there's so many different ways. Probably the most popular way is for students to actually come to campus and shadow a current student. So we offer a program every day we have classes called Experience OSU for a Day. That allows students to come to campus and shadow a food science student or an animal science student or an agricultural communication student. They get to go to class, wow. meet with faculty and staff, and their parents or guests are welcome to attend as well. And the best of all is the program is free. We offer that every day we have classes and we would highly encourage high school students, specifically juniors and seniors, as they're narrowing down their college opportunities to come and, and visit. The way that students can find more about that opportunity is by visiting our website, which is cfaes.osu.edu visit. 
So just going to our college website uh, and uh, learning about our visit opportunities is a great way for us to kind of tailor that program to their students' schedules. And we'll also have a link to uh, that particular website and our website at In Ohio Country Today. Jill, thanks for joining us. You bet. Thanks so much. And we'll be back with more right after this. For more information about today's show or to suggest a topic, fax, call, or email us today. We'll be back with more in Ohio Country Today.